Hey now guys, it's me, Knockout21. How y'all doing? Today we're going to be looking at various VGA to HDMI converter boxes. Uh, there are a lot of these out in the market. And for me in particular, I've been trying to find a way to record Dreamcast footage for y'all to see. But I ran into some issues here and there, either in sound quality or in uh, video presentation and graphics quality. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these. Up first is Mono Price's LKV350 VGA to HDMI converter. These sell for around $40 and can be found either on Mono Price's website or on Amazon.com. It has one HDMI out, one VGA in, and one 3.5 millimeter audio in. It also comes with an AC adapter to power the unit. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how some games look with this device. Right off the bat I have to tell you guys that I have problems with this. My Game Capture HD2 wasn't able to read any signal coming from this device. The footage you see here is via Xbox One. I had to use Xbox One's TV function in order to get the footage you're looking at here. Nonetheless, the image does look the exact same way as it, as it would appear on your television. Round one, fight! Right off the bat, I could go ahead and tell you that I'm not going to recommend this particular model. The colors are all off. 
the sound sounds a little bit distorted I'm not sure if you guys could tell but also I tried every single way possible besides the Xbox trying to get this thing to work I use various HDMI cables I try to run it through a, a splitter everything and nothing was working if you guys really just want to see something on your television without the need of trying to capture footage off of your Dreamcast then I guess I have to say that this is okay but if, if you're like me and that wants to share your experiences with other people I would highly avoid this up next is eTech City's own VGA to HDMI converter you can find this on Amazon for around seventy dollars like the mono prices model it also has one VGA input, one 3.5 millimeter audio input, and one HDMI out. However, the added benefit to this particular unit is that it has 720p and 1080p upscaling abilities. So you could pretty much take your Dreamcast 40p image and upscale it to high definition. Now let's take a look at how some of these games look, look like on this particular converter. Overall, I have to say that this is a really good converter. E-Tech City made a fine product here. Its ability to upscale your Dreamcast 480p image up to 1080 or 720 is really, really good. However, there is some downsides to this particular unit. Most notably, its inability to change the 16x9 image down to a 4x3. This is particularly troubling to me since I'm really used to playing most of my fighters in a 4x3 image. And another issue is that a lot of the colors seem really dark. There seems to be some blue hue over the entire screen. But besides that, I have to say that it's still good regardless. And I say it's definitely worth the $70 price. 
And finally, we have Avermedia's very own VGA to HDMI out converter. This particular model is easily found on Amazon for around $40. It has one HDMI out, one VGA in, and one 3.5 millimeter in, and it's powered via USB. And I have to point out, getting this to work on Dreamcast means that you're going to have to get some gender changers for both the VGA and the audio. I already had these lying around, but if you don't have any, you're probably going to have to go out there and get one. Now let's go ahead and see how s some of these games look on this particular unit. And there you have it, Avermedia's very own VGA to HDMI converter. Now this particular converter is my most favorite one out of the bunch. The biggest reason why is that the colors are kept true to how they're supposed to look like on screen. Also the aspect ratio is kept to a 4x3 image, which is how I like to play my Dreamcast games. Now there are some issues that you're going to run into, particularly this. Yeah, you need to find some gender changers for both the audio and video. Now the, that's not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue is what you see right here. You need to power this via USB, which the Dreamcast doesn't have. However, if you have like uh, one of those phone chargers with a USB plug, uh, you could probably just use that. 
with that said i like to say thank you thank you guys for watching please comment uh rate and subscribe and like always have a good one take care you guys